um, some people from article are coming over today to video our home, which we've never done before, and I'm a bit nervous about, but uh, let's do it. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Come on in. Magic, and this is our 600 square foot apartment. My husband and I bought it about nine years ago and since then I've added two kids to the space. Uh, Theo's now five and a half, Nate two and a half, and we live in Mount Pleasant in Vancouver. I felt like when I got pregnant I combed the internet like trying to find inspiration and information about like how do you have a baby in a small space like where does the change table go? Like, where, what do you do about a crib? Like, I needed the details. And so I thought if I could figure it out and it worked for us, like, I just made a promise to myself that I would share about it because I felt really alone when we were choosing to stay in our small space. And everyone thought, like, it'll never work. You'll never do it. And it's really worked for us. I feel like there's a lot of shame or embarrassment if you choose to live in an apartment with kids, like, somehow you're depriving them. And I don't think our kids are deprived. I feel like they're very lucky. You get to go to art classes up the street and they go to Science World and they're at parks and like they're engaged in the community as opposed to like our home being that they're only at home and they're only in the backyard and we drive everywhere. Like we walk everywhere, we scoot everywhere. And I feel like it's a pretty good life. So this is our 600 square foot home that I share with um, my husband and our two kids. And this is our tiny entry. So to take advantage of our higher ceilings, we put in these shelves so that um, we can display a few nicer things. We have a dining table and when we first got the apartment, it actually had a full-size island that we removed because we really wanted to have somewhere to sit down and have proper dinners. This is our kitchen. We have taken advantage of the high ceilings by putting the few books that we have up top there, cookbooks and just any books that have some meaning to us that we're not willing to let go of. So we move the ottoman out of the way at night and then just pull down the bed and remove the straps and that's our bed. And then again, taking advantage of the height, we have a bunch of plants above because they get good light up there and then they're also not taking up floor space that we can't really spare. I've chosen to keep this area open instead of adding more furniture um, just because it makes the space feel bigger to me and also it's just another place for the kids to play so they bring their toys out from the room and play here and then we have the other really soft rug over here and now I found with the new sofa layout they're playing here as well and then with the open modular sofa we can see a lot of people on it and it's cozy and then we end up on the floor and then we have a couple side tables that we move around um yeah sometimes one's here sometimes it's here sometimes it's there um just where to put drinks or food the longer we've lived small and the more um little people we've added to it um we <laughs> keep removing furniture so we added this sofa we actually had a bigger sofa in here before and I was just ready for a change and I love the idea of a modular sofa and I actually was keeping my eye on article for like months <laughs> waiting for like the perfect modular sofa and when this one came out I was like done this is it um, and I obsessively worked on the layout because we have this sort of strange window ledge um, and I knew that it's a great spot to put a drink like coffee whatever wine and I come from the train of thought that like more couch is better in a small space as opposed to less couch because we spend the majority of our time in this living room. The kids were reading books, we're watching movies, we're playing, they're jumping, you know, whatever. It's just we spend all our time here. And so I wanted enough room for our family of four to be able to sit on here and also like friends, lots of kids, and I needed it to be hard wearing and comfortable. And then when we have movie nights, um, we pull this one right in here and it makes this giant couch bed and the kids get really excited and then we take out the projector and we project a movie onto the wall bed. So I feel like, you know, it's our little like theater room. 
Well, I think more than anything, it's just choosing to be happy with what you have. Um, I think as I've just gotten older and having kids, it's just made me realize that like, yeah, we have a small space, but it's beautiful. And we live in an amazing city in Canada. Like we just have so much to be grateful for. We're super privileged, so we can't afford a freestanding home, but we have this beautiful small home in a great neighborhood surrounded by diversity and opportunity. Then, you know, whether we have two bedrooms or five bedrooms, like it doesn't really matter.